Ladies and gentlemen, this portion of World Championship Wrestling is brought to you in part by the National Dairy Board. Milk, it does a body good. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to World Championship Wrestling. Jim Ross in Greensboro, North Carolina, here at the Coliseum. And ladies and gentlemen, two big hours here tonight on TBS. You'll see Jim Cornette's Midnight Express take on the new Fantastics. Arn and Ole Anderson will meet the State Patrol. Plus, in a return match, Tommy Wildfire Rich takes on Captain Mike Rotunda. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome my good friend and colleague, Gordon Soley, here on the program. Kevin Sullivan will be back in a couple of weeks. He's in Ireland right now on personal business. But, Gordon, we've got a great program. It's got to be headlined by the United States Heavyweight Championship, Lex Luger and Sting, right here today. Certainly no question about that, Jim. It's a pleasure to be back with you. And I might point out, it all began in Troy, New York, at the New York knockout, the clash. And... Uh, it seems now like Luger's trademark is a steel chair. It certainly does. One-on-one -on -one Sting and Lex Luger here today for the United States Heavyweight Championship. We'll also be talking to the Andersons and Nature Boy Ric Flair in the program as well. But right now, fans, let's go to ring announcer Tony Gillum and the introduction of our first big match. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest on World Championship Wrestling is set for one fall. In the ring at 462 pounds from the City of Angels, Bobby and Jackie Fulton, the Fantastics! Their opponents will soon be back in their way to the ring area! Ladies and gentlemen, as Jim Cornette makes his way to the ring, I want to remind everyone that this Christmas afternoon at 2 o'clock, the big Christmas week spectaculars kick off in Greenville, South Carolina at 2 o'clock. Then Monday night, Christmas night, 8 o'clock in the New Coliseum in Charlotte. And then on to Knoxville, Tennessee on the 26th, Philadelphia the 27th, Baltimore, Maryland at the arena the 28th, Richmond, Virginia Coliseum on Friday the 29th, and in Greensboro at the Coliseum on Saturday night, December the 30th at 8 o'clock. This should be a classic right here. We'll get the introduction from Cornette. <laughs> If you rednecks would shut up for a second, you might learn something. You know that? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the greatest tag team combination in professional wrestling. Lean, mean, slick, and quick. Beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan, the Midnight Express. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with the beginning of this contest right after this timeout on TBS. And we are back here, ladies and gentlemen. The bell has just sounded. Jim Ross and Gordon Soley back in Greensboro, North Carolina, the Coliseum. And the Midnight Express starting out very quickly on the new Fantastics. Jackie Fulton with a drop kick. And Bobby Fulton paired off with Sweet Stan Lane. And Gordon, the new Fantastics are not going to be intimidated by Jim Cornette's Midnight Express. Well, they have a brotherly bond for one thing, and that means that... Uh, They'll feel for each other. They're uh, extremely well-built competitors. And I think Mr. Cornette may be in for a rude awakening before this night is over. Cornette not very elated at the way this match has started out here. Now he's taking his coat off. Well, he'd better be very careful. He better make sure. Yeah, well, he's got the express in front of him. So uh, I think he felt fairly safe. Jim Cornette, very unathletic. I'll tell you something. If he tried to whip Cream, the Cream would win. He has no athlete whatsoever, Gordon. And the, Shut up! What? The dynamic hey, dudes, up, you when they meet the Midnight Express the next time, if the dudes win, then they get five minutes alone with Jim Cornette. And we can both, I think, can fantasize as to what they would do to Cornette if they had five minutes all alone with him. Well, we might be missing Cornette after it's over, that's for sure. Dollar and elbow tie-up, and beautiful Bobby pushes Bobby Fulton back into the corner. Nice arm drag. Oh, and a right hand. Caught him walking right in on that one. Yeah, great forward motion there, and that's uh, that really stung him. The Fantastics and the Midnight Express have had one of the keener tag team rivalries in our sport. At that time, the rivalry developed between Tommy Rogers and Bobby Fulton the original members of the Fantastics, but I'm sure that the rivalry will not subside whatsoever now that young Jackie Fulton has replaced Tommy Rogers with the new Fantastics. 
I would certainly have to agree with that. And uh, Jackie is a very, very fine competitor. And uh, like I said before, I think the fact that they are brothers is going to make a telling difference here. Great movement in this contest. Double leapfrog. And they, they elevated beautiful Bobby up in the lights. Nice wrist lock there. Jackie Fulton, a rookie in the sport of professional wrestling. Outstanding young competitor. In there with perhaps the, the smoothest operating tag team in the sport today. Sweet Stan and beautiful Bobby, the Midnight Express. Well, there's no questioning the managerial genius of this man, Cornette, but uh, uh, one day I feel he's going to push his luck just a little bit too far. And he may have done that by agreeing to the five-minute stipulation. Remember, fans, that's the next time that the Midnight Express meet the Fantastics, or the uh, Dynamic Dudes, excuse me. If the Dudes win in any shape, form, or fashion, the Cornette's got to step in the ring five minutes along with Johnny and Shane. And I have to think that's not going to be very pleasant for Master James E. Cornette. Tag is made. Bobby Fulton, the legal man in the ring. Two right hand. The referee's having his hands full in this match. There's certainly no question about it. The intensity of the match is picking up all the way. Great program here, ladies and gentlemen. Our first hour of the return match, Tommy Rich. And Mike Rotunda, we'll see the Doom in action. The Andersons are here. Ken to win them in our first hour. We'll talk to the Nature Boy and the Andersons. Nice ball away slam there by Bobby Fulton. Outstanding competitor, there's no doubt about it. Nice wrist lock, tagging his brother Jackie in. Irish whip. Good teamwork here, Gordon. Uh, once again, that's the thing about being brothers that uh, can make a lot of difference in uh, in competition. I think, as you were saying, of course, in that second hour, we are going to see that U.S. heavyweight title match, a very, very critical match. A lot of gallant competitors during the next two hours. And by the way, following our wrestling at 8.05, we will have the movie The Gallant Hours, and that's one you don't want to miss. An outstanding picture. Good concentration by young Jackie Fulton. Sorry, good concentration and tenacity. Laying downstairs, but Bobby Fulton is the legal man in the ring on this particular occasion. I remind the fans, the NWA returns to the Omni in Atlanta. Monday night, January 1st, New Year's night. 7.30 will be the starting time. Rick Flair will defend the world's title in the Omni on Monday, January 